Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. Ride the hill, feel the thrill. Well, as they say, I had the opportunity to feel the thrill on this Alpine Coaster located in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee during my visit to the area in late December 2019. This is the only Alpine Coaster my family visited during our time here, though there are, I believe, about 11 of these Alpine Coasters located around this immediate area, so you can definitely find these all over the place if you are ever visiting the Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg area. Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster opened in 2013. It can operate in rain and snow. It closes for thunderstorms and heavy rain, according to the website. Now, this is advertised as being over a mile long, but surely this is with the huge lift up the mountain included. The roller coaster database lists the length as being 3,937 feet, so I'm guessing that's how long it is once you are let go from the cable lift hill, which actually is really, really long. I mean, almost 4,000 feet long, that's pretty awesome actually. And it is a very long ride. It's advertised as taking around 7 to 8 minutes to complete the course. Looking at a POV of it, I timed it from the beginning of the climb up the mountain to the braking area at the end of the ride. And based on the POV, it was about 6 minutes 45 seconds. So it definitely can vary as you can apply brakes and things like that during the ride if you wish to do so. It takes about five minutes to climb all the way up to the top, and after that, the ride is just under two minutes long, approximately, once gravity takes over and you coast down the mountain. The price to ride the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster is $5 for children 3 to 6 years old, $12 for children 7 to 12 years old, and $15 for adults. You can do re-rides in the same day for $8 as long as you have your original receipt. The height requirements for this are 56 inches tall to ride alone, or you must be at least 38 inches tall if riding along with somebody, though the person controlling the sled has to be 56 inches and at least 16 years old, so do keep that in mind. There is a max height for this as well, which is 7 feet tall. Now, as far as my experience goes on the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster, I had an amazing time on this. I rode this twice in a row at night, so it was completely dark, it was very surreal, and it was such a cool feeling just flying down the mountain so fast at night, and you had the lights and the views of Pigeon Forge being way up in the mountains. Now, this ride is advertised as reaching an approximate max speed of 27 miles per hour, which obviously can vary, which is why it's approximate, but I tell you what, it sure felt a lot faster faster than that when I rode this thing. I let gravity take over and do its own thing for the most part, though there were a couple times where I did apply brakes just very, very slightly as we were approaching a couple of the turns because we were just hauling so fast. I had my niece riding with me, my six-year-old niece really wanted to ride it with me both times, and I didn't know how she felt about it, so I did kind of apply brakes a little bit around a couple of those turns, and you get amazing laterals going through some of these turns. I mean, you were just whipped around these turns. It's really crazy. Like I said, it sure feels like you're going a lot faster than 27 miles per hour. I mentioned the brake that you have. There's a lever on the side of the sled that you will use to brake. Obviously, you have to brake at the end of the ride so you don't bump into anybody. Each sled can hold two people, but as long as you are 56 inches tall, you can ride by yourself if you wish to do so. Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster was manufactured by a company called Wiegand. They've built nearly 250 of these Alpine Coasters. So they definitely know what they're doing with these things. These are pretty popular. They can be found all over the world now. So yeah, this company has built a lot of these. Overall, like I said, I really loved my rides on the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. It was just really cool. I definitely recommend doing this or one of the many alpine coasters around the area if you're ever around Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg. It's definitely worth your time, and I would say it's worth the price to ride at least once. Like I said, I did get two rides, so I spent about $23.00. Which isn't too terrible, I feel like, for the experience that you get. It's definitely worth doing it, so definitely check out one or two of these or however many you want to do. There's tons of them around the area. Now, I am going to give you guys my final score, as I do with all of my roller coaster reviews. My final score for the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster is a very solid 7 out of 10. I definitely recommend riding this or one of the many different Alpine coasters out there. 
it's truly an awesome experience. So day, night, I'm sure you'll have a great time on these. Definitely check them out. Let me know what you think about the Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster if you've ridden it, or if you've ridden any other Alpine coasters, which ones are your favorites? Be sure to like this video and check out many other roller coaster reviews and a playlist on my channel. Subscribe for more content like this, and thanks so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.